Amid an ongoing strike by metro workers in Toronto, the grocery giant said Unifor refused its request to meet with the bargaining committee. Metro's bargaining committee reached out to Unifor over the weekend and offered to meet as soon as Sunday or Monday, spokeswoman Mary Claude Beckin said in a statement. However, Unifor said it's waiting for an acceptable offer from Metro. God Curie, president of Unifor Local 414 said in a statement that Frontline grocery workers have been clear about their expectations and what the company presented is inadequate. This dispute is about wages. Members have spoken loudly that they have watched their wages slowly erode over time while this company turns out profits and they are demanding a fairer deal. Around 3700 metro workers have been on strike since late July at 27 stores across the Greater Toronto Area. Some workers have said they struggle to afford the very food they sell and many have been calling for their pandemic hero pay of $2 an hour to be reinstated. In late July, the workers voted against a tentative agreement that Unifor National President Lana Penn described as their best in decades, choosing instead to strike and demand move from their employer. The tentative agreement included paid sick days for part-time workers improvements in benefits and pensions and significant wage increases bacon said with full time and senior part time employees getting 3.75 dollars more per hour by july 2026 the agreement included no concessions for metro workers bacon also said that it's the joint responsibility of metro and the union to keep trying to negotiate an outcome at the bargaining table particularly in a context where the parties had reached a very good agreement which both parties recognized as such and that was unanimously recommended by union representatives to the employees unifor has said grocery workers are asking for a fair share of metro profits the grocery reported higher earnings in its last quarter as sales rose beating analyst expectations the union has signaled it intends to pattern bargain with the major grocers over the next two years meaning the metro contract could help set standards for other agreements across the country